Oh, I didn't see you come in. Get over here, man. I've been waiting for you. You got to be careful down here. I want to talk to you today about crowning your frets. I started doing this guitar and it got almost finished. Well, I, I got to go over them again. But I thought, yeah, I'm going to talk about some stuff. So I'm going to get you first, show you these blue lines. For some reason, I can see them better than usual. Maybe I can show you. So we got our frets leveled. I colored all of them blue again. And I'll show you how that uh, file works in a minute. We're going to talk about files too. I uh, colored them blue again. Went down them once. You should, hopefully, you can see that very thin line right across the top crown, top of the crown. I think it shows up on these up here better. But by leaving that little tiny line across the top of the crown like that, every time you crown your files, <laughs> frets. <laughs> you'll keep them in uniform. You keep that levelness that we worked so hard to get. Each fret is completely level with the next one and the one before it. If you leave that little blue spot on the top, then uh, that, that makes a larger area to contact the string, for one, and it takes a lot longer to wear out. Plus, like I said, you keep your, your levelness. So I hope you can see that. I hope I can make you see it. I've told you guys about these crown files here, but I've got a lot of new subscribers since then. Thank you for that, every one of you. Uh, these are very expensive, and you can screw up, man. I did. <laughs> I mean, I, I needed two or three anyway, different sizes. This one here that I'm holding in my hand, it's a narrow one, okay? That one's narrow. Now they make they make a medium one. It just fell out, but there's the thing for it. Damn, where'd it go? Anyways, there's the medium one. And they make a wide one. That thing's nowhere to be found. Anyways, I'm using a narrow one on here. These things, I, I got them at Stumac, and I think maybe you can still get them there. I'm not sure. Uh... This right here I'm using right now is 150 grit, okay? I went all the way across, left the blue line. Now all I gotta do is pop this out, turn it around, and I got 300 grit. This is 300 grit now. It was 150, now it's 300. Okay? Go over it with the uh, rough grit first, and then smoother grit, which I'm getting ready to do now, but I gotta call it a frets again first, and I'm not gonna hold you for that. Anyways, these files, Getting back to these files, if you be, if you get one, if Stumac still sells them and you get one from Stumac or anyone, don't get the medium one thinking the medium one will fit all your guitars or all the guitars you work on because it won't. That's what I did. I ordered the medium one and then I, it, it was too big so I went back and ordered another one. They're expensive. They're like, they're close to a hundred bucks I think right now. Uh, so I went and ordered a second one, and I think I've got a wide one here somewhere too, for bases, electric bases. But uh, that, if you got one of these files, see that? That's the old time. See what I mean? It's got the small for small files here and medium ones here, two files in one really, medium and large. It says on it. But the small is about the same. Yeah, it's about the same as that. That's way bigger. But anyways, if you th these files here only cut in one direction, okay? Like if I lay that on there and shove it across like that, it cuts in. When I pull it back this way toward me, it don't cut in, okay? Takes forever, man. I used these for years. I've got several of these still. <laughs> but these... It's diamond grit. They're expensive, but they are well worth it, man. I got a sweep, too. Uh, they cut in both directions. So, I mean, these frets are pretty soft on this guitar. It didn't take me very long to do that. Longer than I liked, but not as long, you know, as it usually takes on harder, harder fret wire. So, anyways, 
If you got one of these, man, I'll pray for you. <laughs> but if you get one of these, get the narrow one if you're doing guitars. And that narrow one will fit nine out of every nine out of ten guitars that you do the frets on. Every time, man. So I got a medium one now. You know, if you got jumbo frets or whatever, these frets are kind of small. I might use that medium on some fret wire that's bigger than that. But, uh, hell, you could use that, would work on a bass, electric bass. But I've got another one here, I think, somewhere. Anyways, let me uh, sweep. And I'll bring you back and we'll talk about this a little bit more. I'll show you how quick these files are. Hold on. By the way, you got to use blue on this. No other color will work. <laughs> Alrighty then. Now let me show you. Make sure I got the 300. Yeah. Show you how quick these files are. I swept them off. Color them all blue again. <clears throat> this one doesn't bite in nearly like that other one. It's still fast. And you want to just leave your little flat spot across the top of the crown. Fred is almost done. He's got a little ways to go. There it's done. I always hit them on the, the bench there and knock the uh, shavings out of them. They don't clog up very bad, but I just I don't give them a chance to clog up really. Get up a little closer, I think. You hear that one biting in. And you can feel it when when it you can feel it when it's biting in, and you can feel it when it quits biting in. That's where you want to start. Like I said, leave that little line across the top, man. So each fret will be in line with each other. See, that was pretty fast. Do a couple more here. I'll show you. There. It just stop biting in. Now, another thing about these files. Yeah, what was I on this third one? You can come clear over the edge like that. If you have kind of sharp fret ends. You can come, you know, clear around the side like that. Across the fret and then down the other side. And it really smooths your fret ends out. Makes them nice. That fret right there actually needs some of that. See, it's not even cutting in at all there. Very little bit. It's done. That fast, it's done. Do a couple more here. I tell you, man, they cost big money, but they're they're worth it. Like the handle's coming off. If you do very many, if you do as many frets as I do, they are a must-have. Used to sit for hours and hours and hours, man, with that old file like I showed you, and it just cuts one way. Maybe not that file, but one like it, equivalent to it. And don't get me wrong, it still takes a long time to do this. If you've ever done it, you know that. <laughs> uh, then we got to go over them with all the erasers. For crying out loud, man. Anyways, I'll go across all of them, just like what you see me doing here. Leave a blue line across the top. You don't want that line to be very wide, but like I said a minute ago, the more fret that comes in contact with the string, the longer that fret's going to last. I mean, think for a minute, if you sharpen the crown up to a, a razor sharp edge, you know, of course you wouldn't ever do that, but I mean, I'm just saying to make the point, sharpen the crown to a razor sharp edge, the string's going to wear it out faster. So keep that in mind when you go on your fret journey. I felt like the handle was coming off again. If I had any complaints at all, 
with these files, it, that'd be it. The handles come off sometimes. But you can see how fast deep these files are. It's really biting in there. No, I don't tape the boards up anymore. I used to do that. But it's not necessary anymore. I probably should the way I shake. <laughs> and one last thing. When you get down here on these body frets, you can't go off the side like that because obviously you're going to hit the guitar if you even try to do, to do that. Don't want that. So I don't do it on them. I just go straight across the top of the fret. And uh, yeah, you're not going to be playing much down in there anyway. Them's a little bit sharp. But the guitar's still really dry. So when I get it where it'll stay up to 45 or 55%, a lot of that will go away. These are nice, man. Can't feel anything on them. All right, these body frets, that's what I was talking about. I'm going to show you a little bit of that. So I'm getting down there on the first one right now first body fret. Now you really want to be careful here. I'm not going to do much filing on these because like I say who's going to play down there man? I'll do them but I mean I'm not going to put as much time on them as I have the rest of them. And see you just got to be careful man because you can't come off that fret into the top of the guitar. My god you don't want to, anything like that ever happen. Not to me, not to you. Just be very aware of what you're doing when you get down in here on an acoustic guitar. Hope this helps some of you guys, man. Cheers. Peace. I love you. And I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.